Hi, fifth grade, and welcome to math class online. I hope you are all well. I hope you're staying healthy, and uh, I miss you. And I think it's going to be some time before we are back together in the classroom. So in the meantime, I think we should get started. We're in section 9.6 today, and we're going to learn how to calculate the area of rectangles that have fractional side lengths. So let's get started. I'm gonna share my screen with you right now. So uh, you are going to see the whiteboard just like you would if we were in class. And so I will turn that on. And here it comes. Okay, that's real good. Now, let's move this out of the way. Okay, so here we are. There's your date. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil and let's take a few notes. So your goal again, one more time, is today you're going to calculate the area of rectangles that have fractional <clears throat> side lengths. Okay, let's have a quick reminder about how to find the area of a rectangle, just in case it's been a while. So the area of a rectangle is, uh, the way that we find that is we're gonna take the base, which we call B, and we're gonna multiply it by the height of the rectangle. So let's just have an example of a rectangle that does not have fractional side lengths. And let's say, for example, this is three inches and this is four inches. And so then, of course, our area is going to be three times four, which will be 12 inches squared. And remember, when we find area, we have a, a squared dimension, so inches squared, because we are talking about a length and a width, so two directions. And of course, if we were gonna split this into pieces, we could see that if we split it like this, you would definitely have, in fact, 12 square inch, or 12 square inches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12, right there, you can see that. And so this idea, we're gonna build on this idea of breaking our rectangle into smaller pieces and then adding each piece up. Okay, so let's, let's talk. We're gonna, we're gonna calculate the area of rectangles using three different methods. And the first method is going to be just taking the base and the height and multiplying them together. So there really isn't a whole lot to worry about with method one. It's just very straightforward, multiply the base times the height. So let's have a quick example of that. I'm gonna give you a rectangle. And right there, and I'm gonna tell you that this side length is 3 fifths units, and then your length down here is 4 sevenths. And so I want you to calculate the area for me. And so we'll always start with a nice little formula, area equals base times height. We're always gonna remind ourselves what the formula is by writing a fresh formula for each, uh, each problem we solve. And now let's go ahead and fill in the base and the height. So we have the area equals 4 sevenths times 3 fifths. And we're all remembering how to multiply fractions. We're gonna go across the numerator. So four times three is 12. And seven times five is 35. And that is going to be units squared. If the units are not indicated in the picture that they're inches or centimeters or whatever, we just use the word units to, to specify the measurement. Okay, so right there, that is, that's the easiest as it gets, multiplying base times height. And then, of course, don't forget to reduce your fractions. That's really important. There's no reducing in this case, so we're kind of off the hook. 
Okay, so let's have um, let's have you do one really fast. I'll give you a new rectangle with some side lengths, and let's have this guy be. He's going to be seven tenths on the side here, and this is going to be five twenty firsts. And I'd like you to calculate the area of that, please. So I'm going to pause the video, I'll let you have a chance to work on this problem. And uh, you go ahead and solve it. And when you come back, I will have the solution for you. So I'll see you in one minute. Okay, I'm back. And I hope that you have an answer now. Here is my solution. So again, we've written the formula. And then I wrote out seven tenths. That was your um, height. And your base is uh, five. 21st. Look at this cross canceling that I had, I could do so that the math would be a lot easier. And then when I finished multiplying, I ended up with one sixth unit squared. So that's not too bad. Okay, that's method one, just straight multiplying. Method two and method three involve using a little more uh, thought about what's happening. So let's talk about that. Method two. involves um, splitting your rectangle into smaller pieces and then calculating the size of each smaller piece. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to give you a rectangle. Okay, there's my rectangle. And I am going to tell you that this rectangle measures three-fourths on one side and two-fifths on the other side. And the goal here is to split this shape. I'm going to give it some color just to make it a little more interesting. So let's have some color in here. Okay, so I'm going to split this shape up into smaller pieces. And my goal is to get these, the smaller pieces to be uh, a a rectangle, a smaller rectangle that has side lengths that are unit fractions. So let me write that down because let's, we need to talk about what that means. Side, um, so let me try that again. We're going to split this, break this, break this into smaller pieces. So that each piece is a rectangle with unit fraction side lengths. Okay, what's a unit fraction? A unit fraction. Uh, not, nothing too fancy here. A unit fraction is just a fraction with one in the numerator. Okay, so examples of unit fractions, one-fifth, one-seventh, one-tenth, so on and so on. So unit fraction, one is the unit piece and it's in the numerator. Okay, so our goal right now is to break up this purple rectangle into smaller pieces so that the smaller piece is a rectangle itself with unit side length, unit fraction side lengths. So how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna look at our numerators and our numerators will tell us how many pieces to split our fraction into. So I'm looking right here at my three fourths and I see this three right here. So what I wanna do is make three divisions here. So one and two, three, there we go. Okay, so you can see I have one, two and three. And if you just asked yourself, what is the length of this piece right here? That piece has to be 
one fourth in height because I have altogether three of them at one fourth. And of course, one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth would give me a total of three fourths right here. Okay, and so now the next thing to do is to split the, the length. So we're gonna go back to that numerator right here. This is gonna tell me how many pieces I need to split this into. So oopies, let's see what happened here. There we go. So we're going to split the, the length of your rectangle. We're gonna split that into two pieces because again, the numerator tells you how many pieces to split that into. So I'm going to split that right there into two pieces. Now I wonder how, can you tell me how long or what's the length of that little width right there? That is one fifth. And then this of course would also be one fifth because one fifth plus one fifth would give me a total of two fifths, which is what we have right here. Okay, so what I'd like to do now is pick off one of these rectangles. So this little guy right here, they're all the same, but let's just examine that small little rectangle. And how we already decided that its length is one fifth. And then we also decided that its height is one fourth. And so the area of this piece is one fourth times one fifth, and that equals one twentieth. So we have a little unit fraction here of one twentieth. So um, notice again, unit fractions, my numerator is one and my numerator here is one. That's what we're going for. Okay, so each of my little purple rectangles is one twentieth in size. So now I go back to the larger rectangle and I say how many fractions or how many rectangles are there to begin with. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I've got six of those mini rectangles all together. So six rectangles that are each a 1 20th unit squared in size means that I have six times 100, or sorry, six and times 1 20th which equals six twentieths. And then of course, we're gonna reduce that by a factor of two and we get three tenths units squared. And that is how you find the area of a rectangle, breaking it up into smaller pieces that have fra unit fraction side lengths. So it seems like a little extra work, but the, the idea is really to see how you can split this apart and build it back together. So let's make sure that we believe that. Uh, if you were gonna do the area of this problem using the method one, where you just multiply three fourths times two fifths, let's just have a go at that. Three fourths times two fifths, is gonna give me, make sure I wrote those down, three fourths times two fifths. That's gonna give me six twentieths. Oh, that looks familiar. And of course, six twentieths reduces down to three tenths units squared. So that's my check and I'm feeling pretty good about this. This method right here is how the book is gonna ask you to solve homework problems number three and four. So use this method for number three and number four in the homework. Okay, and I think I have one more, did I have one other example? Okay, I have another example for you. I'd like you to write this example down and then uh, pause the video and try calculating the area using this method too. So let me tell you that we're going to multiply. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna give you a little rectangle here. Oh, I didn't really 
let's see. I'm gonna, oh, I want to make that go, go this way. Okay, well, nice try. This side length is three halves. And this side length is five sevenths. Oh, just, okay. okay, I'm gonna color that in in case that makes it better for you to see. And I want you to go ahead and calculate the area there using the smaller pieces that have unit fraction side lengths. So I already know that you can probably just multiply three halves times five sevenths. That's easy. Make it a little more challenging to see if you can show me how to do it by smaller rectangles with unit fraction side lengths. Okay, go ahead and pause your video now, and I will see you back in one minute. Okay, I'm back, and I hope that you have an answer for me. And I haven't written, I did not write the solution up yet, but I do believe your answer should be 15 fourteenths, which you're gonna tell me is one and one fourteenth units squared. That should be the answer you got. Let's just talk about it super fast and see if it's uh, the same thing. So let's target a square right here. We'll go after this guy right here. We'll make him a little darker there. This one small tiny little square. Let's talk about his size. So you can see that I have taken my uh, my rectangle and going across the height here, I split it into three pieces. And each piece is supposed to be one half. So you could see that of course this would be one half, two halves, and then three halves. So I know that the height of my tiny little rectangle over here is one half. And then similarly, going across the, the base here, you can see I wrote it, I split it into five pieces. Oh dear, I think I did that wrong. I was supposed to split it into. Let me redo that super fast. I have too many divisions here. I don't want that. So I'm gonna pause the video and make a quick correction to my rectangle picture. Hang on a second. Where is it I pause? I have to pause. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. And I had to correct a little mistake that I made when I split my rectangle uh, going across the five sevenths base, I split it into seven pieces, not five. When you do this, you want to break up your pieces into the number of the numerator. So I've got five pieces going across. And now let's talk about the, the, how the base is for each of these little guys. So how long is each of these pieces right here? That has to be one seventh because there's five of them. So one seventh plus one seventh plus one seventh plus one seventh plus one seventh is gonna be your five seventh. Okay, and so the goal has been accomplished that I have created this smaller rectangle here. And you notice that it's side lengths are unit fractions. So the area of this one tiny rectangle is one half times one seventh, which is one fourteenth. So in here, this little guy is one fourteenth. If I look at my larger rectangle, how many pieces do I have? Well, I've got three this way, and then I've got five this way. So three times five altogether, there are 15 tiny little rectangles that I've drawn. So 15 rectangles at each one fourteenth unit square squared is 15 over 14, which we don't leave as an improper fraction. We're going to fix that. So I end up with 1 and 1 fourteenths. Oops, there we go. Try that again. Try that again. 1 and 1 fourteenth units squared is the area of the rectangle that I've drawn for you. Okay, that was method two, where we're breaking the rectangle into smaller pieces with unit fraction side lengths. And now finally, our last method is method three. And you can see the picture that I have right now is 
this outer rectangle right here is a unit rectangle. So its base is one unit and its height is one unit. So this guy in here is some fraction of that one square unit. And so let's talk about what I've done. I'm going to split this up and see if it makes a little more sense to you. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna extend this here and I'm gonna extend this right here. And then this one is gonna extend too. Okay, so that, and I'm gonna put a few more things in here. So two, three, four, and five. Okay, now that I have that grid here, can you tell me what is this length right here? Across the top, I split it into three sections and I've targeted two of them. So this value is two thirds. And across the side here, I split that into six sections and I've targeted five of them. So this is five sixths. And so now I want to know what is the area of this, oops, darn it, that was not right. What is the area of this purple section? And it is a rectangle that measures two thirds by five six. Well, now we're just gonna go back to using area equals base times height. So we're gonna take our area equals base times height, and we have two thirds times five sixths. And you can see that that's going to give you 10 over 18, which we are not going to leave because that is unreduced. We're gonna reduce that by a factor of two, and you're gonna get five ninths units squared for your final answer on the area of that purple rectangle. And the reason that they ask you to do it this way is because now they're wanting you to compare this purple rectangle to the size of one square unit. So if the whole piece was there, if you had one by one sides, then you would, um, you could see that this is just a small fraction of one square unit. So, and that makes sense, right? Because if we're multiplying a fraction by a proper fraction, we end up with a smaller amount than what we started with. Okay, so that is the three methods for finding the area of a rectangle with fractional side lengths. I want to remind you all that I will be having office hours today through the Zoom conference and I will be I will be in conference from 9 to 10 in the morning and then from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. So hopefully you'll have a chance to see this lesson and if it brings up any questions or you're having some concerns about it, that's the time to talk to me. And so I'd like you to do some homework today, and we're going to do page 457, 457, and we're going to go numbers 1 through 12. Now, uh, I'm going to have you go on to your Big Ideas uh, book, and I'd like you to submit your homework through the assignment tab in the Big Ideas website. That way you can, um, you don't have to scan or email me any of your work. You can just submit your answers into the Big Ideas site. And I'm um, hoping that you are going to use all three methods today when you're doing your homework. I will be asking questions like this on our next quiz where I say, show me how you would split this up into smaller fractions with unit fraction side lengths. So you need to be familiar with how to do this. Okay, that's it for now, everybody. Just remember three methods, finding the area of a rectangle. So you can just use your nice little fraction, I mean your formula, base times height. You can split it into smaller rectangles with fractional side lengths, or you can compare the rectangle to the whole one unit square uh, shape and then find the fractional units there. Okay, that's it for today and hope to see you in Zoom conference. Take care. Bye-bye.